Welcome back to Pymol Biomoney course. Many of you have requested the part 11 of the GrowMax series. In this part, we are going to see about how to analyze the MD simulation of protein ligand complex. This part is actually easy and I am going to use the Pymol for the trajectory visualization. This is the Pymol version 3.0. This version has many new features. If you want to learn how to create publication quality images and MD videos, please post in the comment section so that I will make a video on that. In this folder, I have the MD production run files. This is not a complete MD run and this is the interrupted in the middle for few nanoseconds. But this will serve the purpose of this video. As you can see, I saved all the XVG files in a separate subfolder for convenience and I am going to save the remaining files in the same folder. We have already seen the other graphs in the previous video. First we need to make sure that we have the md.xtc file. This is the trajectory file. This is the output of the production MD run. Then the structure file that is the npt.grow file which is the starting structure for the production and DRAM. Okay, this is the NPT.grow file. Or you can use any other starting structure if you wish. Next up, we move on to the viewing trajectory. So before that, here is the NPT.grow file. Okay. And here is the MD.xtc file. Okay. So these are the two files that we are going to use. Next up, open the PyMole. Okay. Now we move on to viewing the trajectory. So go to file and open. Then navigate to the desired folder and select the structure grow file. I am going to use the npt.grow file. You can use the structure as per your study. After selecting the right structure file, click on open. Okay. Now the structure file will open. You can zoom and move around the molecule. If you observe carefully, the structure is in the cubite form. But we have specified the dot echohedron shape box for the simulation. Also the protein ligand complex is in the edge of the cubite. We will correct this in these later steps. On the right side you can see the object NPT is present. Now there is only one object and only one frame. You can hide and show the objects. Now to load the trajectory go to file open and go to the folder and select the trajectory file. This is the md.xtc file. After selecting the correct trajectory file click on open. This is the important step because first you have to load the structure file then after that load the trajectory. You cannot load the trajectory first and then open the structure file. Okay. Now you will observe two changes. First thing is there will be weird lines going back and forth. This artifact is due to the periodic boundary conditions. We will correct this shortly. The second thing is that there are 29 frames loaded from the trajectory. This number of frames depend on the molecular dynamics parameters file that is the mdp file press the right arrow button to view all the frames pressing the space bar will look through all the frames in the trajectory the current frame will be shown in the object menu and play menu in the bottom okay and this is the pymol terminal now we are going to open the md working folder Now open a terminal in the MD working folder. Now we are going to convert the trajectory. For that give this command gmx trjconv dash s md.tpr dash f md.xtc dash o that is the output file md corrected dot xtc and pbc mode ur compact and center. Okay. Now you can see this is the command that we have given and this will write the xtc file ok and the version 2021 this is the single precision now select the group for centering I am going to select number 1 for protein just for demo purpose now we select the group for the output I am going to select 0 that is the system. This has all the atoms. That is approximately 33,000 atoms. Okay. So select a zero. Now 
now the command is completed okay and you can see the new file will be generated and that will have the trajectory of uh, 28 frames okay now here is the md character.xtc now we are going to load the new trajectory in the pi mode so for that go to file and open and select the new trajectory in the pi mode if you wish delete the current object or close and reopen the pi mode then open the structure file and load the new trajectory but i have loaded the new trajectory directly which works for me okay now the trajectory is loaded you can see that the pbc lines are gone and next the cuboid shape is changed to do tetrahedron shape which we have specified in the previous steps also you can see that the protein ligand system is in the center of the box now i can move and zoom in and out okay also i can change the representation of the protein ligand and water molecules and make a beautiful video in the pi mode if you want to learn how to create a nice looking video of your md simulation post in the comment section i will make a video about that now let's go to the simulation working folder okay you can see here is the xvg folder we are going to save all the resultant xvg files in this folder okay now open the terminal in the simulation folder now we are going to generate the rmsd rmsf etc so first we are going to generate the rmsd for that give this command gmx rms dash s md dot tpr dash f md corrected dot xtc that we have converted just now okay hereafter we are going to use only this md corrected xtc we no need to use the previous md dot xtc dash o xvg slash rmsd dot xvg we are going to specify the folder name slash file name okay <coughs> and give enter now you want to select the groups for the least squares fit okay i am going to select number 1 that is the protein you can also select c alpha backbone and whatever you wish depending on your study okay i am going to select a number 1 for the protein after selecting the correct group press enter okay now you have to select a group for the rmsd calculation here you will have the list of groups here also you can select the groups depending on your study i am going to select one okay now the command is completed now just to go to the xvg folder you can see here the rmsd.xvg file that is newly generated file and give this command xm grace space xvg slash rmsd.xvg that is folder name slash file name okay because we are in the md working directory and xvg is a subfolder now you can see this is the rmsd graph in the title you can see protein after least squares fit to the protein we have selected option 1 in the first and option 1 in the second also that is we have selected protein in the both options next we are going to generate the rmsf for that give this command so just loop through the previous command and just add rmsf okay and the remaining options are all same just change the file name at the end of the command rmsf.xvg so that's all now the new file rmsf.xvg will be generated in the same folder now give enter dash res now you have to select the groups 
for the root mean square calculation. So you can give anything as per your study. I'm going to give a three. Okay. You can see the RMSF dot XVG will be generated. So now we are going to view this graph. So give this command xm grace xvg slash rmsf dot xvg you can see this is the rmsf fluctuation you can see at the end of the all the graphs the data points will be missing because this md run is interrupted in the middle for few nanoseconds okay next we move on to the radius of gyration for that give this command gmx gyrate Das yes, NPT dot grow. This is the initial structure file, and dash f md underscore corrected dot xtc. We are going to use the md corrected xtc in all the analysis. Okay, we are not going to use the md dot xtc file hereafter. And dash o xvg slash gyration dot xvg. You can specify any folder name and any file name as per your wish. Now these are the available statics. Index group. You have to select any one group. Select a group to compute gyrate radius. Okay. I'm going to select number one for the protein. So that's all. The command is completed. Now you can see that gyration dot xvg file is generated. So we can view this file just like before. X M Grace xvg slash Gyration dot xvg. So you can see total and around the axis radius of gyration is generated. Next we move on to the hydrogen bond analysis. So give this command for the hydrogen bond generation. So you have to select the reference selection which is related to the search for. Hydrogen bonds in the target selection. So I'm going to give one and press center. Now the next group, this is the target selection related to which the search for hydrogen bonds in reference selection will develop. Now I'm going to give the ligand that is the option number thirteen. Now the command is completed. You can see the h1 dot xvg will be generated. You can view this just like before. Xm grace xvg slash h1 dot xvg. So this is the graph for the hydrogen bonds. In the y-axis, you can see only one hydrogen bond is generated. In the x-axis, you can see the time and the picoseconds. So, if you want to know how to install XM Grace, please refer to my previous video. I will provide the link in the description. So that's all. Please subscribe to the Pymol Biomolecules, and thank you for watching.